What's going on, everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Guys, I have a question for you. Do you have a fragrance in your collection, like something that smells very synthetic? You know it's very synthetic. Nothing natural about it, like not even the top note, not even the opening. Forget the dry down. Do you have a fragrance like that in your um, collection? Well, I have one. Of course, the famous Megamare from Orto Parisi. It's a beast of a fragrance. It's very synthetic, yet I enjoy it a lot. Now, today I'm going to talk about a fragrance, a house that's not known to many, right? The house name is Marc Antoine Barois, and I hope I didn't butcher the name. Um, the name of the fragrance, you have seen it from the title already. You have seen probably numerous uh, reviews, maybe, 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 or if you're discovering it for the first time, as gratitude, maybe why don't you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you like the content. So the fragrance we're going to talk about is called Ganymede. As we know, Ganymede is one of the moons of Jupiter and Jupiter being one of the largest planet. Of course, that's why Jupiter sometimes is referred to as like one of the strongest planet, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So let's not go into details about those things. Astronomy, astrological things. Let's not go into that. Let's talk about the fragrance, Ganymede. Now, this is a fragrance which was released in 2019. And it's a lesser known house because not too many people talk about it. I got to discover it here in 2023 and I was so happy that I did. And let me quickly share the note breakdown with you guys. And then we're going to talk about this fragrance and what I felt I experienced with Ganymede. Now, before I proceed, let me quickly show you the box. I'm not going to go into too much details, but, th but this is what the box looks like. And this is the beautiful bottle. As you can see, this is not a metal, metal plaque. It's a golden paint. It's, it's painted. It's uh, etched on the glass. And it's a beautiful, simplistic bottle. Got the logo on the top and also on the atomizer. The atomizer is pretty nice, I would say. Let me take a quick whiff of this beauty. All right, talking about the notes from the website. So this fragrance revolves around the usage of four notes. So you have mainly Mandarin, Immortal, Violet, and Suede. So these are the four notes and the artist, the perfumer over here, two perfumers actually. So Marc Antoine Barois and Quentin Bish, I guess. So they played around with the notes a lot with these main four notes, right? So as per Fragrantica, I see there's the presence of mineral notes, saffron, suede, akigala wood, violet leaf, Italian Mandarin, Immortal, and Chinese Osmanthus. Now, guys, let me tell you something. This fragrance is pretty controversial amongst users who already know about it. And if you're if this is the first time you're seeing this fragrance or hearing about this fragrance, let me tell you something. This is not something you would want to blind buy a full bottle. Like, because the moment you spray this fragrance, there's a strong metallic note that comes off. And I firmly believe that this metallic note, it's sort of like, to my nose, I kind of detected that herbaceousness to it. And the metallic note, I think it's, it's coming in conjunction with something where the violet leaf, right? The violet leaf reacts with that particular note and then it comes off as a metallic note. Maybe there is no mineral or metallic note in it, but that's how I felt. That's what I feel. And then a lot of people complain about this, like the metallic note is too much for them. It's probably overbearing on their skin. Because of course, like I said, this fragrance is almost, not almost, I would say it's very synthetic. It feels very synthetic. You know it's synthetic, but at the same time, it's very, very enjoyable and wearable fragrance. So. Once I sprayed this fragrance, the metallic note was pretty dominant and prominent at the same time. Like it just, I just felt it. But at the same time, I felt this herbaceousness, like a green herbaceous feel to it. And that's the reason why I said maybe it's the violet leaf reacting with something and then coming off like that. So past that first 20, 25 minutes, the metallic note, the mineral note kind of like tones down. And then the magical, beautiful sweat comes off. Now, let me tell you something. Now, the suede doesn't come off by itself. It's a very luxurious, soft, supple kind of suede leather. 
that's the kind of note you'll get. It's very prominent, but not at the same time, it's not like a very overpowering or very dominant kind of leather note. It's very luxury. It's a very luxurious feel. And at the same time with the leather, I feel that there's the presence of immortal, which kind of gives you that dry, woody, hay, like a tobacco kind of combination that kind of gives you that tad bit of sweetness too. So these things, I feel that they work in conjunction so the suede and the immortal kind of, I have a feeling that they kind of work in conjunction. That's why you get, get that kind of like a dusty, but at the same time, a tad bit earthy. And at the same time, a beautiful, like a dry, woody, leather, suede, luxurious smell. And then your violet leaf and the mandarin orange, like they combine and kind of gives that that herbaceous, fruity feel now it doesn't go too green it stays pretty uh, like like a subdued kind of like something like you're suppressing imagine suppressing the herbaceous feel but at the same time there's this presence like a pretty dominant uh, note of leather sweat at this point like i'm talking about around two to three hours mark now for the drying down this this fragrance kind of introduces the spiciness from saffron and it's pretty prominent you will detect the spicy leathery combination at this point like this is around like four or five hours mark but the spiciness is not too much it's very subtle it's very mild it's very enjoyable because imagine like this thing opens up pretty alive very energetic and it's very very potent like it's not overbearing but it's very potent to the point that it projects a lot and like i said because there's nothing i didn't feel anything natural about this fragrance so i believe the aroma chemicals in, used in this fragrance in this composition there must be something that like projects monstrously so again if you're looking for a beast mode fragrance ganymede is your answer to it now drying down this fragrance is more like the spiciness at this point like around like eight to ten hours mark the spiciness is gone I feel more of like a freshness, herbaceous freshness and the leather, toned down leather. And that's what you're left with. This thing keeps on drying down and on and on and on. But the immortal over here, this is the funny part, like the immortal over here kind of lives throughout the entire fragrance. That dry, hay, tad bit sourish kind of feel, a little tarty. But the thing is like, you get that fruitiness from the mandarin too, but the dryness kind of lives throughout this fragrance. There's nothing juicy about this fragrance. The green notes, like the herbaceous green, it's very subdued. It's not too pronounced, not too prominent. But this fragrance has phenomenal longevity and it's a very long lasting fragrance. So this thing is gonna last you the entire day. So I'll, I'll just share a little story. So the first day when I got this fragrance, when I got Ganymede, I sprayed only once on my inner elbow, just once. And I went out for a walk. And when I went out, it was a breezy, hot, humid day. But the, you know, like the, even the breeze was like pretty warm in your face, kind of warmth. So, you know, I just kept on walking and this fragrance kept, kept on wafting and it was pretty strong. So imagine I'm outside by the road, I'm walking on the pavement and I'm still catching a very strong waft of this fragrance. Now, again, the, you know, like when I applied it, I went out like after 10, 15 minutes. So I kind of got used to the smell or what I'm going to expect, but I wasn't expecting that kind of performance. Like this was wafting strong, very strong. I came back home after like two hours, took a shower. And then, you know, like, of course, like I soaped up, cleaned up everything. I dried down. And then when I was sitting on the couch and then I could still get the aroma very strongly. So that's how strong this fragrance is. This is an EDP concentration. They also released uh, an extrate concentration. I wonder what that does. But this itself, I mean, maybe just don't go overboard with this one because like this is very enjoyable. I'm pretty sure it's not going to become overbearing if you limit the number of sprays. Maybe I would stick with like around max four to five. Max. Max. I mean, I think even four to five will be too much. Personally, me, I was going with only three, one on the chest and two behind the ears. And the whole day, the whole day, this thing kept on projecting. People were catching a good, strong waft of this fragrance. And I was getting compliments left and right to the point that I went to a restaurant and the cash register lady, the, the cashier, she was commenting that, sir, you smell very nice. What's the fragrance? She literally asked me that question, which is very odd. Like I wear so many fragrances, go places, but 
not always do I get compliments like that or questions like that. So I told her the name of the fragrance and everything. She was very happy. But let me just tell you one thing. Like this fragrance does not come in cheap. A 100 ml bottle probably goes around for like $190, uh, 190 euros, I believe. And um, maybe convert that to dollars, maybe something around 200 20 ish something like that um yeah so that's about it guys that was my experience with ganymede and talking about longevity definitely beyond beyond 10 plus hours beyond way beyond i'm just telling you the lower bound so that was my take guys a very enjoyable fragrance synthetic but very enjoyable very much wearable office safe yes just be mindful of the trigger how many sprays you do you follow that, you should be good to wear this all season, every day. It's a signature scent worthy fragrance. That's what I believe. And if you can get past that, like uh, 15 to 20 minutes of that me strong metallic note uh, in the opening, you're good to go. Trust me, this fragrance has a fantastic dry down. You will enjoy it. But again, like I said, sample first. Sample, sample, sample. Do not go in blind with this one. This is pretty potent. You don't want to mess it up. Spend all that money and then end up with a bottle. You don't like so that was my take on ganymede guys let me know in the comment section do you own this fragrance or anything else from this particular house uh, let me know in the comment section and make sure you're subscribed and hit the thumbs up button on this video because i do giveaways all too often you don't want to miss those videos where i do those giveaways right so until the next one please take care stay safe and all the best